With LED Wizard 7.1, you can make a complete LED layout in about five minutes. So to demonstrate this, we'll make a cloud sign layout using this Crunch Gym logo. So here in the LED Wizard import dialog box, I can just crop in here to what I want to keep and only import this part of the, the design file. So when this imports, here's our logo here in the middle, and we want to copy this and, and scale this out of this layout. So to do that, we'll use our extraction tool. And so this lets us just select the objects that we want to keep, and we can scale at the same time. So I'll just go in here and click on these four objects. And up here I can also scale, so I know this is 230 inches wide, so I just punch that in and click on Extract. Now when I zoom out, here's my full scale logo. So I can just come back down now to the original and select it and delete it. Now I just have to scale my layout size back up, and now we're ready to go. So the next step here would be to turn the colors off and take a look at my uh, my objects here and I see that there's a couple things I can delete so I don't need either one of those but this one I, I actually want to weld together weld these two objects together so I can just make a group uh, and click on weld so here's my final shape now I want to take a look at these vectors and I go into the vector edit tool and here's an extra loop that we don't need so I can just delete that uh, but you can see that there's a lot of extra points here so we have a tool to minimize the number of points, and that's here called the Recreate with Bezier Curves. So I can use that tool and go down to 40 vectors, 40 Bezier Curves. So now we have real clean, smooth data, and this is what we'll use to populate. So I go into the PowerFlow tool, which is our LED layout and editing tool, and I'm gonna use our XYZ Large Cool White Triple Module, and this comes in as a uh, vertical parallel layout. And I can just adjust this angle a little bit just to match this. Um, I know that it's 95 degrees, so I can just punch that in. And here's my layout, looks very clean and very even. So I can take a look at that. And you can see that um, I have all these parallel runs. Now another option here is our hybrid layout. And what that does is draws uh, one inline and so you can make sure that you have nice uh, clean lighting all the way around the edge of your cloud sign and I can repopulate. So this is the layout that we'll use and um, I can see right here that this run came up a little bit short so it's very easy just to go in here and click in here and add uh, a couple extra modules and that looks good right there. So one last step here is I just want to break this outside run because um, I know that I want to load a power supply and that's too long of a run for one power supply so I can just uh, break that run apart now I have two runs around the outside so yeah the next step will just be to select the power supply and I'll select the XYZ 120 watt go to the power supply menu and say add optimal power supplies by run so this will load up each power supply and it takes all these runs, draws these wires down. Here's my power supplies. We show the load percentage, the number of modules, uh, and watts. And so now I can just drag this down. I've got eight power supplies down here. And I'll just click on stats now. And so it brings in this stat. And I don't need this one because I've just got one object. Um, but here's my, my total uh, stats for the whole job. And I'm just going to move this right up here to the top. So we have 390 modules, 780 watts, 8 power supplies. Uh, we also report square footage and perimeter footage. So from these stats, you have a lot of information that you can use for an estimate. And um, you can see the layout here. And the, the last thing I'll do is just add a quick dimension. So 19 feet 2 inches, 230 inches. And, um, and this is basically my finished layout. So at this point, I could export this as a scaled PDF file, which could be an estimate or a customer proof, and I can export it as a full-scale uh, DXF file that I can use to produce the job. And so there's the completed layout. 
in less than five minutes. For more information, please visit ledwizard.com.